secret to making your home look like it was organized by a professional organizer is labels. And so many people are reluctant to use labels. I think they think it's going to look childish or it's going to not look good, but the truth is the right label can make your space look gorgeous. Not only do labels mean that it's gonna stay organized, you're gonna be able to find things faster, put it away easier, but it levels up the look of your home. A big thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I use my Cricut Joy to label everything in my home. My baking cabinet is one of my favorite spaces. This is where I stand when I'm doing baking, so I transform this cabinet so it's easy to find everything. And I took everyday white containers and just took them to the next level with beautiful labels. Now I know where everything is. I can find the sprinkles, I can find the vanilla at a glance. I'm more likely to put things away in the proper place because they're labeled, but I also love how how beautiful this cabinet looks. Every time I open the door, it's just like, it looks custom and high end. And I did it on a budget and it was super fast and easy. If you're not yet convinced that labels are amazing, I wanna talk about the magic of keeping your home tidy. This is the biggest reason why I love labels. Yes, they're beautiful. Yes, they make your space look high end, but they make everyone in your house, including yourself, but also your family, put things away when they're done. It's really a subconscious reminder to your brain of where things go. I've noticed a huge difference in our family since we started using labels. I'm no longer the director of where everything is. It's no longer, mom, where are the band-aids or where are the cookies? Everything is really obvious of how to find it and how to put it away. So when we're cooking, everyone knows where the spaghetti sauce is or where the rice is. It's clearly labeled. It's very simple to find. I also love using labels to tie a space together. In the pantry, I'm using white containers, glass jars, I'm using beautiful ceramic jars and different types of baskets, but it looks like it's all tied together because I'm using the same font and the same labels for everything. So don't worry about having to have matching everything to give you that professionally organized look. It's the labels that can tie it all together. Here in the office, I have a lot of small office supplies, paper and envelopes and just so many things, especially for my business. And so I have a lot of containers. I'm using these beautiful but simple Big Sew boxes from the container store, but I can take this to the next level with beautiful labels. I'm actually using a gold smart vinyl because it matches my decor and they just elevate these boxes. Even though my shelf has different color and different size boxes, it looks so cohesive because of these beautiful labels and when you're thinking about labeling your home I really recommend using a signature font the signature font for my home is Babette it's part of the Cricut design space fonts and I love this font I think it's beautiful it's elegant it's scripted but still very easy to read it definitely gives my space a really high-end custom look and it's so easy to make I'm gonna show you now how you can make custom labels for your home using the Cricut Joy in seconds. The Cricut Joy is definitely my go-to labeler. It's so small, it's so portable. I take it with me when I go to clients' homes, when I'm organizing their spaces. I can just toss it in my purse and bring it with me. And I also used it when organizing every space on Hot Mess House. I made all the labels myself for an HGTV show using the Cricut Joy. And it was so fast and easy. I think I convinced everyone on the show to start using a Cricut too, because it does look really professional, but it's also fast and easy. Anyone can do it. You can do it. You don't have to be really technical. You definitely don't have to be great at designing. If you can type a word into your phone, you can use the Cricut Joy to make gorgeous labels for your home. I use the Cricut Design Space app and you can use this app on your phone, on a tablet, on a computer, and just type in the labels that you want. Pick a font from the hundreds of gorgeous ones that you can choose from, type out the labels that you need, but remember, here's a quick tip, size matters when it comes to labels. Bigger is definitely better. You wanna be able to see your label from across the room. So go ahead and measure your container and make sure that your label is definitely filling up at least three quarters of the space. Once you're done typing out your labels, just send them to your Cricut Joy to cut. I like using the smart removable vinyl. This way I don't have to worry about a mat. It can cut a ton of labels all at once. 
This is so simple. Once you've cut it out, simply weed off all of the vinyl that you don't want to use, add transfer tape, and apply it directly to your container. In minutes, you've made your space look like it was organized by a professional organizer. You're going to stay organized and you're going to love the way that it looks. The Cricut Joy is now available at the Container Store. You can find it online or in store. Check out the link in the description to learn more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video and hit subscribe for more organizing videos every week. We'll see you then. Hey guys, thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I'm wondering, you know I love having a signature font for my home, but I also love having a signature color. And it used to be teal. I don't know. Everything was teal. Curtains were teal and furniture was teal and all my accessories were teal and pillows and blankets and I went overboard and now I've replaced it with pink. And it started out just in this office and Joe was like, Okay, it's a girl boss pink vibe, but it's leaking out into my downstairs family room, the upstairs living room, the dining room, the kitchen, and now we're redoing the bedroom and I really want to make it pink. What is wrong with me? I don't know why I do this. I choose one color and I take it too far. I, I, I take it too far. It's like I, I don't have any other creativity. I don't even know what color to mix with pink. So it's just pink everywhere and some teal. My house looks like a Barbie bubblegum extravaganza with hints of teal, which is also a very like baby color. <laughs> what is going on? I need an interior designer. I need an interior designer in my life. And I also need to pump the brakes. When something works a little bit in some space, it doesn't mean it has to be everywhere, Cass. A little bit in one room is fine. A lot everywhere is not fine. Let me know in the comments below if you have one color that you might have like a weird crush on and it's taking over your home. I'm curious. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.